<laughs> Welcome back to another pretentious beer nuts. Oh dear. Brillo. Brillo. Come on. Brillo. I don't know why I'm using that, because I have. No, no, I don't. I don't know where that's gone. <laughs> Brillo. Baltic Porter. Ooh, the lid came off with such ease and grace. Oh, Daddy Longlegs has joined us. <laughs> Can't I do one without the wildlife pissing me off? Mmm. So, we return with the Baltic Porter. We're moving into the darker beers now, by the looks of things. It's getting, uh, it's getting, it's getting, uh... Oh, Jesus Christ. It's getting colder. Brillo, Baltic Polter. Baltic Polter! <laughs> Baltic Polters, Geist. It's 7%. I haven't drunk anything yet. And I'm acting like I have. I had to apologise. Can we get straight into it? No, <laughs> Sorry. This is not a Baltic Porter. Wade, hold the phone. Can't just jump straight in with allegations like that. It clearly says here, Baltic Porter. Dark brown, nice, beige creamy head, bready, grainy, caramel aroma, no trace of roasted malt. Ooh. Chocolate, coffee, it should be here, and 7% ABV only, Dunkelbach, okay, but Baltic Porter, well I'll have to stop you there, straight away, I don't mean to be picky, if we're going on the uh, the, the BJCP uh, guidelines, then I think you'll find that uh, they have it down as between 5.5 uh, and 9.5, uh, and at seven percent, it's uh, it's pretty much uh, pretty much in the middle there. So uh, you fucked up with that one. Tastes dissimilar, plus alcohol-like, cheap German corn schnapps. It is drinkable, but totally not in style. I'm. Um, I don't mean to. I. I was, I mean, come on. It's a spider attacking the daddy long legs. I mean, for the love of Christ. Try and do pretentious beer notes, and I've got things like that distracting me. Moving on. Bottle pours a reddish dark brown with a slightly brownish head. Aroma is some roast, slightly smoke and soot, slight dark fruit, slight licorice. Taste is slight roast, <laughs> more dark fruitiness, slight peat and soot. Feels like it's not really there. Bottle pours hazy copper brown with an airy beige head. Sweet flavour of sugar and malt with some estuary notes. Sweet flavour of the same with notes of roast, kettle and vegetables. Heavy estuary and veggie sugary aftertaste. No Baltic Porter. Knit even near a Russian Imperial Stout. Just bearable. not looking good for it is it? <sighs> Bottle! <laughs> Thanks to Bottle Beer, pours a dark brown beer with a small brownish head on top. Aroma has light rose, chocolate, cookies and some molasses. Flavour is very mild, light sweet and has some watery mouth filled touches. Mrs. Oomph, misses some booty, <laughs> misses some complexity <laughs> and misses some Grammar, especially compared to other examples in the style, does have a long medium sweet aftertaste with hints of milky chocolate in there. Decent, but not much more. <coughs> Ooh, Brella Brau House, Berlin, April 11th, 2017. Appearance is the usual ruby black. Taste is a bit Venice, but dry. No burnt barley, god damn you. I won't be drinking another sip. No burnt barley in this porter. What are they cleaning? No burnt barley though. 
Leave that to dry Irish stout. This is Porter. Sparta. This is Sparta. Taste is still dry, not sweet, and more interesting as in most modern craft porters. Moving on! Bottle. Very dark chestnut. Golden brown cream. Lavender. There's no lavender. Chocolate roast. Medium light body. Could be a tad chewier. Licorice roast on the palate. Like iodine. Who's drinking iodine? Who's drinking iodine? Herbal notes and licorice. Retro nasal. <laughs> Fresh dry finish. Retro nasal. Dark mahogany. With a light brown head. Caramel licorice. Roasty, woody, resin. Basement aromas. <laughs> Mm. Medium bitterness, medium to heavy sweetness, light sourness, sleek mouthfeel, lively carbonation bitter finish. Oh my god. It's about to get triple X on your ass. Aroma, dark caramel malt, malted candy, prune, toffee, <laughs> sweet nut sauce. <laughs> sweet nut sauce. Never would I imagine a beer described as nut sauce? A sweet nut sauce. Almond pudding notes. It can't go from sweet nut sauce and like glaze over it with almond pudding notes. My goodness me. You must realise that people are going to read this and laugh. Uh, beige head, ultra dark ruby body. I can't believe I'm going over this. Soft, soft hops, roasted malt, dark caramel syrup, uh, nutty dark toffee. You should have gone with nutty dark toffee to the, at the beginning. Not sweet nut sauce. Sweet nut sauce. Almond note prunes a lot and finishes cho chocolateish, juicy and gentle CO2. Mm. Well, we've got Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes has blasted it wide open. They don't know where to hide. I have to say that when I saw this beer, I thought that maybe I'd be finally trying a German Baltic porter with the quality and taste of a good Polish one. Perhaps it was the name which seems to have been well studied. I knew it did not stand for vexillary rickettsia like organisms and there is no etymological truth on their explanation on the back label. They've busted you wide open. You don't know where to run now, eh? With your friggin' uh, ric rickettsia, uh, rickettsia, rickettsia like organism on the back. <laughs> I may have made a slight error in leaving, leaving the reading of this to last, seeing as this is 7% and I've nearly drunk it all. He's using two bigger words. As my name happens to have the same root used for the city name, what is he on about? With that. L with a little line through it. Certainly alluring. Besides, I have a great admiration for anything Berlin. Slightly boozy and bourbon amber brown. It is malty, grainy, sweet. On the brink of cloyingness. Medium bodied, still somewhat resinous on the tongue. There is a rather artificial tone of dried fruit and caramels on the flavour and aroma. Bock? Yes, that too. In spite of its many defects and the unnecessary and blazed use of the word philosophy, I still love the marketing. And for those who are into all kinds of Baltic porters, it is not a bad drinking experience. He has unravelled the mystery of why they called it what they called it. Your move, bro. Oh my goodness me. 7%. I'm guessing that the stronger pretentious beer notes, ABV wise, may take more time on the editing block. In my humble opinion, the Baltic Polar, 7%. Hmm. Well, does it taste like sweet nut sauce? <laughs> How would I know? Ah, 
And that wraps up another pretentious fan notes, fellas. Don't forget to thumb up for the kiss door. Do. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Click here, watch us connect. Share the video, get out of the world. See you until next time. I'm out of here. <laughs>